Hi, this is Daryl from Curated. I'm an expert who helps thousands of people find the right skis for them at curated.com. And today I am back reviewing the Black Crows Corvus Freebird in a 176 with Kingpin. So today I tested these at Powder Mountain, Utah in resort. And just a disclaimer before I continue this review, I would not recommend this particular setup in resort ever. This is just the place that I was skiing them. So I'm gonna speak to these from that perspective. Just so you know, I'm not sponsored by Black Crows or any other brands. All our reviews are completely unbiased. So the brand claims that this is a really awesome ski for touring, primarily gonna be great in heavier snowfall, lighter snow, anything in the backcountry. They're gonna do really well uphill, but they're still gonna be a competent ski on the downhill, particularly when you're skiing powder. It is a do-it-all ski if you're someone who spends a ton of time in the backcountry. I think you couldn't do much better than the Black Crows Corvus Freebird. Comment below if you have any skis you'd like to suggest for our next series of reviews. These for a touring ski of this class are fairly good at eliminating underfoot chatter, but you can feel the tips and tails flopping around when you're skiing. And the more you lay into the ski when you're carving it, the more it's gonna feel like you're out flexing the ski. So when you over flex a ski, what happens is you end up losing your edge in a carve. So it's not the same thing as chatter, but it, typically that's like a soft ski will give you that feeling. And you'll feel like the ski is about to just slide out from under you, you're gonna lose your edge. So that's definitely something that I experienced on these guys. So these are not a ski that I would ski very, very fast. If you're skiing tight trees or just trying to take some mellow backcountry touring laps, these are a great option for that. They don't take a lot of energy for you to ski them and the ski itself does not have a lot of energy. So it's not gonna be pushing you around. You're gonna be able to maneuver it super easily uh, and just not be so worried about, you know, having really heavy skis that you have to lug around. I would not recommend this ski to someone who's gonna to be touring in a lower snow area like the Northeast. I wouldn't recommend this ski to someone who skis really hard, incorporates freestyle maneuvers, is stomping cliffs or skiing choppy snow frequently in the backcountry. That said, this is a good ski for a majority of backcountry skiers who are out there to have the most fun possible in fresh snow. If you're trying to tour and shave some weight and just you know, care about the uphill a lot, this is a good ski for you. It's still going to ski relatively well downhill, but it is not going to be a big mountain class ski. It's going to be something that you can ski a little bit slower, you can maneuver really well in trees, but definitely not something to charge super hard on. Skis work differently for different types of skiers. If you're wondering what the best skis for you are, hit my link in the description and it'll be linked up to myself or one of my colleagues at Curated. We'll be so happy to help you get set up. If you like this video, hit subscribe to see more ski reviews, snowboard reviews, and everything else from our YouTube channel. Goodbye. Bye.